Oh, so uh, initially it was back in uh, March, so I got uh, uh, some unwanted uh, paper. It was initially people print a book and there was uh, no one claim. So I kind of had this idea, I want to upcycle and turn this paper into something like a beautiful objects. And uh, that's how I actually start thinking, like because uh, previously I'm always like turn paper from 2D into 3D, and uh, but this time actually given like such a, a big amount of paper, so I thought, okay, how can I make that into something pretty? So that's how it starts. And there's all different sorts of shapes and designs. What went into the idea of creating the specific ones? For example, uh, a vase. Yeah. So why I actually pick vase is uh, because the uh, the paper was un unwanted and claimed, so it seems like people just print without thinking uh, 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 the resources and, and give respect of these trees and, and, and resources on earth. So I actually, when I create, I can make animals, I can make uh, uh, fruits or animals, but I choose the vase because vase in Chinese feng shui means respect. And so I turned that uh, uh, paper into a vase and also want to deliver messages to people respect the, the resources around us and think before we print. And they also have specific and um, peculiar names as well, don't they? Yeah, I call that a NFT vase, so not for touching vase. Because they make from papers and uh, I, although I got varnish and it's all like uh, PVC proof varnish and they kind of protect it but it's called NFT Vars. So just observe it and don't touch. <laughs> Where do you get your creative inspiration from? So uh, last year I did one, it was, uh, I do the Gibraltar theme last year, but this year I actually do the uh, warrior and kind of like uh, uh, Chinese martial arts movement because my son went to one of the, the local uh, Jiu Jitsu uh, association. So I, I see at home, keep on this movement, practicing, and that's how I get the inspiration of, uh, I can use uh, USDT, simplify, use simplified drawing technique to actually put all this uh, action into paintings. And they tell a story in a way, don't they? Uh, yes, yeah. so uh, there are different uh, movements and uh, I, some of them are called like the Foot of Thunders and uh, the Eternal uh, Chi of the uh, uh, Circle and so they can't remember all of them but uh, I also uh, paint a uh, rooster because uh, why actually paint rooster is a uh, rooster in China culture Rooster is the one in the farm who actually pick all the worms. So, so for us, a rooster is always a healer, it's always a doctor. And, and I think around this uh, 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 pandemic, uh, and I think rooster uh, uh, in Asia is actually get a really high respect. And but in obviously in Europe, people don't quite know this meaning. So I actually call one of the, the pictures called the healer, the rooster, is for that that purpose. So we're here in the Arts and Crafts Centre. Uh, how long will these pieces be available for people to see? Uh, it will be available for whole June uh, and will be until, I think, yeah, 7th of uh, July. So we still have about uh, three weeks.